Some time ago, we started seeing a proliferation of yellow masking tape, along with what seemed to become numerous postings from modelers who claim to have found the mother load. It's the same as Tamiya tape, but only one-fifth the price. So I bought a bunch of yellow tapes from everywhere I could find, and I sent them to the lab for testing. Besides collecting a bunch of tape that I'll probably never use, I found that no two tapes were alike and that no tape exactly duplicated the qualities of Tamiya tape. Tamiya tape's basically a good quality washi tape, but all washi tapes aren't the same, and the same applies to the ordinary crepe tapes. Not all ordinary masking tapes are the same. The final upshot of my tape investigation led me to pare down the types and quality of the tapes that I keep on hand, so here are my favorites. For ordinary crepe masking tape, I prefer to use 3M's 233 Performance Tape. This tape's typically sold to auto body shops, and it isn't the same as the green tape you find in your local home improvement store, or anything like the cheap 3M masking tape, and you know the tape I'm talking about, $1.50 a roll. And when you try to pull it off the roll, half the time it tears because it's so thin and cheap. My second favorite crepe tape is Autographics Tape from FBS. This tape has some unique qualities that I find extremely helpful. First off, it's very thin and semi-transparent. It conforms nicely and it cuts easily and cleanly. Even though it's a thin crepe tape, it's extremely strong and it comes off the roll cleanly without tearing. Likewise, it comes off clean after being on for days. I actually find myself reaching for this tape more and more. Because crepe tapes have a texture and most are relatively thick, they don't yield the sharpest edge. So for critical masking, I use either the good old standby Tamiya tape or KUTG Gold from FBS. KUTG Gold is an extremely thin, semi-translucent tape that's popular with airbrush artists. For my masking purposes, it's completely replaced 3M's fine line tape, which I now use only for scribing guides. KUTG Gold will provide the sharpest edge you can get but it isn't as conformable as Tamiya tape. So for tight curves, like a bubble canopy, Tamiya tape would be my first choice. A lot of times I'm adding, building up, or finishing an individual structural element, and I need to prime or paint a specific area. So I have to mask off rather large areas to prevent overspray. For a lot of years, I just cut off a piece of masking paper and then stick a strip of tape along the edge. And while it works, it's not very convenient. Many times my bench space is limited, or I wind up with debris under the tape. I thought about getting a masking machine, but they take up a lot of room. So here's something that I found very handy. It's a hand masker from 3M. They're commonly used by house painters. The unit is relatively inexpensive, it works reliably, and it can be hung up and kept out of the way. A very convenient alternative to a hand masker is Pro Mask from FBS. This is the perfect product for our hobbies. It's like having a miniature masking machine. It comes in two widths 
and all you have to do is pull off what you need and tear it off. It unfolds if you need more coverage, and when you run out, you can save a few dollars by just buying a refill. FBS products can typically be found at auto body or airbrush supply retailers. So there you have it. That's my short list for what I use for masking. So long for now, and I'll see you next time.